Hi folks, Praveen here. Uh, welcome all of you to another session uh, on OpenCV. In today's vlog, we will cover morphological operations in OpenCV. So morphological operations are, uh, op are special algorithms in OpenCV that help you clean up a small noise like small black dots or small white dots that appear on images. Uh, we will look at it specifically as a pre-processing step for, o for OCR or optical character recognition. So if used correctly for OC, before OCR, it can reduce the amount of noise or small, uh, uh, small issues in your picture and thus improve the total accuracy of your recognition. In this particular blog, we will look at working on a slightly bad picture of a number plate and demonstrate how it works. Okay. Uh, so as usual, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up import our libraries and set up our output methodology correctly. The next step is we're going to read the input image. So I have a number plate uh, in my, in this directory, in this, uh, as a part of this repository, which looks like this, as you can see, it's a little noisy. It's got a couple of extra characters here and there. Uh, and, uh, there are, there are, uh, you can see the screws, etc. And you can see the image is also kind of grainy and a little blurred. So what we'll do is we will just show the operations, including morphological operations and see how that can improve this picture. So our first step is we're going to do is we're going to do a pre-processing of the picture. So in pre-processing, we are first going to convert all the, Im the picture to a grayscale image. It's a simple grayscale. Okay. So this is a grayscale image. Our next step, we are going to do a thresholding. So what thresholding does is thresholding says that it takes every pixel and declares that either to be a black or a white, essentially binarizes the entire image. Uh, and uh, it makes it, it makes the contrast extremely clear. That's what it does. It does the contrast very clear uh, for people who are looking for what is thresholding. There is another video, another video blog, which I have as a part of this series which you can take a look at to clear up concepts. So we run thresholding and after thresholding, you can see the image looks from these the grayish to a clear black and white. So there are no more gray areas, it's just black and white. So what, then what, if you look at your black and white image, you can see there is still there's noise left here and there, which can often interfere with, with the optical, for the character recognition when you finally run it. Uh, then what we're going to do is now we look at the morphological operations. So morphological operations, we're going to look at first a method called dilation. So in dilation, what we do is we create was a three by three kernel or a matrix, and then we run it as a convolution. So we uh, apply that kernel. So we take, uh, we, so we'll take about say three pixels over here and three pixels over here, make a matrix of it. And we will, uh, so what dilation does, it basically makes, takes everything and maximizes it. So if the maximum value is a white and the minimum, that's 255. So if the pixel value is 255, uh, it's a white. And if it's zero, it, if it's, it's a perfect black. So what this, what dilation does is that it does a maximum of that kernel. So it takes a small kernel, or you can say it takes, a, it takes three by three pixels and looks at the, the, uh, the maximum value and sets all the pixels to the maximum value. So what essentially happens as you can see is that a lot of the small dark pixels get eliminated. So small pixel, dark pixels that were here and there have got eliminated and what you've got is, 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 is this. But at the same time, when you look at the image, you can see that the images might be a little uh, separated and clear, but they are, a little smaller, we've lost some amount of detailing on the edges. So that we do our next step. And the next step is the next, that's the next morphological operation we're gonna look at, and it's called erosion. So in erosion, the concept is very similar. It's again, a three by a convolution of a kernel. Uh, the kernel size is, you have just maintained the same kernel size. And what it does is that we take again here. Uh, so in, in, when we're doing dilation, what we did is we took a kernel and we set all the pixel values to the maximum value. 
In erosion, we do the same thing. We take a kernel and we set all the values to the minimum value. So what happens is now is that the 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 image the the dark sides of the image now become clearer. So our alphabets and our numbers are, are more clearer. So now with this, we can easily put it to an OCR and have a better uh, a better quality of recognition. So more numbers and more alphabets will now be recognizable from this than from our earlier images. Also note that the small noise and these other small characters that were around have all been eliminated. So that is what that, that is how you use morphological operations in a real life example. Now, uh, so the last point I want to highlight is so there are morphological or higher level morphological operations like closure. So what that is, it basically enables you to do both dilation and erosion in a single step. Okay, so this is basically does dilate. So if you operate use uh, the uh, use this operation morphology X along with CV2 morph dot underscore close, it's called a closure operation, which is essentially it does dilation first and erosion next. Now, uh, so this is it, and as you can see, we have got the exactly the same result uh, by uh, by using the two steps of of dilation erosion separately, and we have the same result as when we ran a closure. Okay. Now, other thing which I want to highlight is that uh, so the particular steps I've taken where I've done dilation first and erosion next makes more sense when your background is white and the alphanumeric characters that you have are black. But in some cases, you have images where it's exactly the opposite, where the background is in black and the characters, the alphanumeric characters are in white. In that case, you'll be better off running erosion first and dilation next. That's something which you need to take care of otherwise. So I hope you've enjoyed this lecture. In case you're looking for the for this notebook, I have shared the link to the notebook in the description section. Uh, if you want to get, I have also linked the uh, the playlist, the OpenCV playlist, the description. So if you want to follow up other lectures in the series, you can just follow it up there. Thank you.